What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Kessel Run Transmissions. My name is Noah Outlaw. I'm one of your hosts, as always, and I'm here with Corey Van Dyke. What's up, man? Got some exciting news to talk about today, dude. We do. It's 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 fun. It's interesting. Um, not sure how I feel about it, but but we'll get into that in a minute. Yeah. Um, before we get into what we're reporting on, uh, earlier today, LRM Online, our buddies over there, good guys, yes. reported that the Cara Dune series uh, is in development, a spinoff, so- a spinoff show for Cara Dune, which is something Corey and I and a, a bunch of our friends as well have been hearing about for a little bit, um, and we, but we just haven't reported on it because we just weren't at a, at a point where we were going to do that, but LRM went ahead and did it, and so we have some other information about the show that I think a lot of people were going to be excited about, so Corey... Yeah. Why don't you let them know what's going on? Yeah, so we've been uh, sitting on this one for quite some time. This has been about like yeah. four months since we heard about this for the first time. And then through different sources, also confirming this to us. Uh, we have heard that alongside uh, Cara Dune, starring alongside Cara Dune, will be Bo-Katan. Yes. Uh, which, of course, for me, is really exciting because right. I love the Clone Wars and the fact that like we haven't even seen Bo-Katan yet in live action until Mandalorian season two. So we don't even know what she's going to look like. Right. I mean, obviously we know Katie Sackhoff will play her, but the fact that she's going to also be in a spinoff series, I think is super exciting. Yeah. Um, and obviously Katie Sackhoff will be playing her, but this is, again, this is something that we heard a couple months ago. And then uh, through different sources, we've heard similar things and we, we, we got some pretty solid confirmation yeah. actually earlier this morning. Yeah. So I feel like, um, you know, this is one that we wanted to put out there for a while, but not yeah. until, we got it at least like confirmed by three different right, people. Right. So now that we have that, uh, we f- we felt it was time to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we've said before on our other scoops, we do this a lot where there's a lot of things we hear that we don't necessarily run yet because we don't know the credibility to it. Um, and this is why we kind of held off on this one. But right. um, I, I think it's interesting that, you know, an important thing to note here is we heard this before yeah. a lot of you know we're not gonna get into the backlash or whatever but there's but been a lot there's of, been a real lot of life. stuff in, in real life with real yeah. actors that has caused a lot of controversy on this car dune series which i understand but also like it's something where we're not gonna get into that but yeah. um so i guess the big question for me now is is it still happening right. because like i said as early as you know this morning we're hearing that bo katan is in it yeah. so you know is this something that was talked about months ago and is being talked about now or yeah. is this what do you think that's well i'm not sure i mean that's that's my question as well it's because it, we've we heard about this series before yeah before all that all happened. that happened yeah. like you said so it was definitely at that point it was something that was on the table and it kind of made sense i mean yeah. it, and now i mean it i could see why they still want to do it but there would be yeah i, I don't know if it'd be the best move for disney blues film to do that right and, now? and we're not saying like anything on our personal views right we're just, yeah we're no, just saying yeah. like what but just just straight just what's up going on yeah like, just what's going on you would think maybe they wanted to would take that into consideration about yeah. how a certain part of the fan base feels um well actually in, in a, i don't know if you guys remember but a couple months ago you and i did a uh, kessel run radio episode where we talked about um there being a third spinoff series for Mando. Right. this is that this spin-off is that series yeah. it was the bo katan and cara dune series so yeah. this isn't just Cara Dune, like Bo Katan is going to be in it just as much as she is. Yeah, it's like a team up series. Yeah. They're they're in this together. So, yeah. um, I guess my question for the series, if it does indeed happen after all of this, is where do you think it's going to fit in the timeline? Because to be honest with you, this could still be pre Mando. Like maybe yeah. Cara does know Bo Katan, yeah. and Bo's going to be featured. Maybe that's how she gets involved. Yeah. So um, well, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I pre Mando would make sense yeah but post mando would be interesting as well but because yeah. the reason i would think it's probably post mando is yeah. because bo is in it and i yeah. just didn't I, I wouldn't think that gina and bo knew each other uh, or not gina sorry kara and bo knew each yeah. other before you know before meeting whenever they do in season two um but maybe they do like you said maybe they know each other maybe they fought together and some maybe there's some story that they they met because we all know that uh, Kara, oh, I keep calling her Gina, that Kara was a, a rebel shock trooper yeah. um, before the events of Mando. And so maybe Bo was out there in a battle. Maybe they were fighting somewhere near or yeah. on Mandalore or something like that. Um, yeah. And so that 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 could be a cool story to tell. Yeah, there's definitely a story in there. I mean, you know, it's especially with Kara's character, I'm, I'm interested to know, yeah. like, 
what she did in the rebellion. Yeah. Obviously, we know she was a shock trooper in there, but we don't really know what that means. Right. Yeah. You know, so it would be cool to see. <clears throat> and then obviously throwing in Bo there. I mean, th the possibilities are endless. So, you know, whether or not this happens at this yeah. point, we don't know. But like we said as early as this morning, we heard about Bo-Katan uh, yeah. being in the series. So mm -hmm. at the very least, it's still something that is on, you know, in the cards. Yeah. Um, I kind of think that they'll green light it depending on the reception of Bo and Mando. Yeah. I think at that point, then they'll be like, okay, we're going to do this. Yeah. And also something interesting is there is a YouTuber uh, named John Campia who, um, you know, he's a YouTuber, talks about Star Wars. And one thing is a, a lot of people were, were talking about is he had a report, I guess you could say, um, about things that he'd heard from the Mando season two production. And one of them was that, uh, Cara Dune was going to become a fan favorite character um, after season two. Yeah, we actually also heard that. Yeah. I saw that today from our buddy Josh at uh, Den, yeah. Den of Nerds. Yeah. He said the same thing. So, yeah. and so that's yeah. the that's what people that's what the the Lucasfilm um, people are thinking right Dude, now. Dude, well, it makes sense actually if you think about it. If Cara connects with Bo, fan favorite. Yeah. Like if they, if they're pals and buddies and they've known each other, that's, that's actually. True. And if she has a deeper backstory that we don't know about, and maybe they know each other already, maybe, you know, I'm starting to think Kara will be the character who maybe introduces Den and Bo Katan to get, yeah. you know, to each other. That would make wow. sense. It's um, all going to connect. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, yeah that's, um, it's cool. I, I don't know. Ex I really, I don't know if I really want a Kara Dune series. I, I mean, there's just yeah. nothing about unless unless like you said in season two they reveal something super dope and it gets really interesting, but that's it's, that's that's it. It's kind of the same way I felt when they announced Cassian, where I was just like, okay, yeah. Um, yeah. And I I think for me like it could be interesting depending on the characters they bring in with her. You're right. Like I think bringing in Bo is really exciting. Um, so it'll be cool to see if you know kind of what direction they go in. Yeah. Um, also. You know, we've heard of the Filoni verse from our right. buddy Josh, who's yeah. talked about that a yeah. lot yeah. Uh, from Den of Nerds. And this makes sense to be a show in that Filoni verse yeah, to connect definitely. into one definitely. big thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah, I mean, guys, uh, I mean, that's our thoughts on it. Unless there's anything else you really want to add. Um, no, I mean, I guess one little tidbit I can give you guys right now is we are hearing that Bad Batch has a March, April release date. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel, you know, just a quick thing to add. Yeah. Um, I do think that uh, December 10th during the investors, like Zoom, whatever they're doing, yeah. is going to be pretty huge. It's not an investor's call. It's a meeting. And usually during those, they it's called Investor Day. Yeah. And they drop uh, Disney Plus news. Like last year, they announced uh, Falcon the Winter Soldier. Loki, Mando season two, and WandaVision. So I do expect December 10th during that that Investor's Day for us to get um, release dates and news on everything we've talked about. Yeah, yeah. That should be so. a big day. So, um, yeah. That's and also, be, oh. maybe we'll have something fun to talk about next week. Yeah, we'll yeah. A little bit early next week, maybe. Who knows? I'm just saying. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. What do you guys think about this news? Um, are you is, are you more excited than us? Because we're, I could say we're, we're excited to see Bo and her own thing, but I think a Kara Dune series isn't the most exciting thing I've ever heard. Yeah. But uh, what do you guys think? Uh, do y'all all think, are y'all excited? Or are you not excited? Let us know down in the comments. We're really interested to hear what y'all have don't. to say. Or don't, or don't let us know. But uh, Corey, where can they follow you on the interwebs? Yeah, you can follow me on Twitter at Corey underscore Wolfpack, as well as at KR Transmissions on Instagram at Corey underscore Wolfpack and at Kessel Run Transmissions. Yeah, and you can follow me on Twitter at Outlaw Noah on Instagram at the Outlaw Noah and on Twitter at KR Transmissions and Instagram at Kessel Run Transmissions. Um, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. We have so much Mando Season 2 content coming up. It's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. The next couple months are going to be, it's going to be a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Um, so make sure you're here for all that greatness. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.